I go through it, and I know you do as well. It's just that nobody has ever sat down with you and said, hey, look, this is what this is going to do to you. Creativity. Yeah. When I'm invited to the universities and or broadcasting schools to talk about what it's like to be a broadcaster, to show them the way, to open up the path so that they can understand their creative process, I talk openly with them. How many of you are not getting sleep? How many of you are beating the hell out of yourselves because your creativity isn't showing up the way that you think it should? Ah, 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 hands, 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 hands. It is an addiction. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut, because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Yeah, here we are. Yeah. Where are we? Where are you? I was doing some studying the other day. My meditation is Nidra, and inside those pages, uh, they hit me with a sentence that just basically uh, opened up my heart, and it is, the best place to be is right here, because when you're right here, you don't have to be anywhere else. You can control right here. So here we are. You've got the power of choice. Winning is a choice, so is losing. Going to school or work today is a choice. You don't have to go, but there are people depending on you. And we've entered that stage in, in our chapters where it's like people don't even care to call in. They don't. They, they just don't show up, not realizing what it's going to do to the people who did show up. And, and then all of a sudden you get that phone call going, man, can, can you help bring some peace back into my life? I'm so sorry that I wasn't there. And you forgive them until they do it again and again and again. But we, we live in this in this society where accountability is they might as well just take it out of the dictionary. It, because it's 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 there, but nobody is holding true to it. Accountability. Show up. Build your plan. Stay in the moment of now and really pay attention to the building blocks of success. But you got to show up. That's the main thing. Show up. Coming into this studio every day. Show up. Why do I come in here? I I, I don't see anybody, but my heart tells me you're there, and I'm grateful mindful. Thank you so much. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walkthrough in everyday world. I am a daily writer. I look at the everyday world and it's like, wow, I got to write about that. And, and that's what's fun about being a Daily Mess writer. Free form thinker, stream thinking. Just write about it. If, if something outside your, your, your windshield of the car just goes, hey, look at me, write about it. Because there's somebody outside of you that's going to go, oh, my God, I I just went through that. This is The Daily Mess. The view according to you. The view according to you. I mean, that should be the title of our personal books of life. How we personally see things as individuals is nothing compared to how others see it. We learn as children to compromise, to get along with, to play nice, compassion, empathy. We all know that, right? But do you practice it? The view according to you. Decision makers and other leaders are trained to take their teams to certain levels of success. No matter how hard you work to reach that accomplishment, the final destination will always be viewed by others. And what do we call that? Judgment. Oh, Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Oh, man. 43 years of broadcasting and still one of the toughest things that a broadcaster goes through is when the program director says, can you come in the office? Let's let's go over your show. I want to listen to it. See the view according to you. When you were doing the performance on the radio show, it felt good. You, you, you thought you were reaching people and yet the outside eyes are going, oh, Jeez, dude. Oh, I, I like you because, you know, I, I would rather have somebody who does too much so I can pull you back instead of trying to push somebody. Say, I need more of this. I need more of that. The view, according to you, judgment comes in all flavors and colors. Self-judgment still seems to be the invisible monster. I mean, come on. Doubt, shame, guilt. <sighs> that view, according to you, how do you see yourself? You know, we we just keep wanting to change the painting on the photograph to make it look like, oh, wow, here I am. We do it all the time on Instagram and on TikTok. Here I am. You only post the pictures that you like. How many pictures don't you like? Mm, The view according to you. We are living in the metaverse. Mm, 
And that metaverse is the view according to you. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.